Hello and welcome to Playing Pedals, the show about playing pedals. Not so much reviewing them as saying, what about if we take this kind of pedal, this kind of pedal, this kind of pedal, put them all together and see what we come up with. Today on our board, we have an Electro Harmonics Dr. Q envelope filter. We have a TC Electronic Dark Matter Distortion pedal and we have a Mosky Blue Delay Analog Delay. My name is Matt, thanks very much for watching Playing Pedals. As ever, I am playing my Epiphone Les Paul Gold Top into a Vox AC4 TV, and it sounds a little bit like this. It's your bridge pickup. Uh, middle position. All the controls are set to about two o'clock. We're gonna switch it on and get going. So on the Dr. Q, we just have this range knob. On the dark matter, very standard for a distortion pedal, you've got a gain control, how much distortion, you've got a level, which is the output level, then we've just got bass and treble. Uh, we've got a voice switch which we're going to leave down for the purposes of this video. And then our blue delay, um, we've got a repeat knob, how many repeats. And then we have a level of the delay and the time. And that's it. So let's get going. Not a bad start, I think, 
As ever, we're going to ask the question, are there usable tones to be had here? And as we all know, a usable tone can be lots of different things to lots of different people. But for me, yes, I think right here we have some usable tones. I think there are things that I can imagine myself playing in bands. I've played stuff like this. I've got to be honest, I don't often use the Dr. Q anymore. He used to be on my board all the time. I don't. If I want this kind of stuff, probably I'm using a wire pedal. Let's switch it around. Let's put the distortion in front of the envelope filter and see what happens when we do that. So we've gone back to our roughly two o'clock position with the exception of the um, time knob on the delay because without a tap tempo, it does take a bit of a while and I'm kind of happy where it's sitting at the moment. So we're gonna leave that. Right, and let's plug in see where we go from here. So it's good, it's good, I like it. Um, I don't know what else to say, I like it. We're gonna put the delay in front of the uh, envelope filter and then have the distortion. So again, we're sort of back to two o'clock positions. Let's switch it on.
I hope that helps you. If you have never thought about envelope filter before, um, hopefully this is some kind of reasonable introduction. So that's it, that's the end of our little play around with an envelope filter, a distortion pedal and a delay pedal. I hope it's been fun, I hope you've kind of either been inspired and thought, yeah, no, that's really interesting, I'd like to get one of those, or you thought, that is really, really horrible, in which case, winner, you've saved yourself some money and you never have to buy an envelope filter pedal. I'm assuming it's the envelope filter that you don't like because the distortion pedals and delay pedals are pretty standard. The delay pedal and the dark matter are things that are going to be on my board all the time not particularly this delay pedal um, but this is definitely on my board all the time this delay pedal as we've said in a previous video it's a cheap from china over ebay sort of thing and if you switch it on you can kind of hear the noise in the end of the tails there that is a sign that you get what you pay for. However, it is this week's most affordable pedal on the board. That said, I think the Dr. Q probably represents something that many of us hope for, which is um, that sort of junk shop, or oh, I picked it up for a fiver kind of buy. And I don't think it was that cheap when I bought it, but it was second hand and it wasn't what it would have cost when it was brand new. And I think the second hand market is a great way into getting to build a pedal collection. As I said before, the envelope filter pedal, less of something that's really gonna be on my board. Probably if I'm wanting to go into that kind of territory, I'm gonna do it with a wire pedal, um, but it does something and it's definitely fun. As to which way round is the best way round to have the pedal, is there really a best way round in our search for usable tones? I don't know, but I liked all of those ways on my board. It would probably be envelope filter into distortion, into delay. <laughs> But actually what we've just done here, having delay into envelope filter into distortion, is something that makes it a little bit more wild and crazy and uncontrollable. And possibly if I'm warning that, that's what I'm gonna do. So which way around would you have them? Leave a comment, let me know. I'd love to hear from you guys. Thanks very much for watching. If you've enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Do um, hit the notification bell, do subscribe to the channel. Let's kind of really build this thing together and start a conversation about pedals and how we want to play with them. Thanks very much for watching. I've been playing pedals and I'll see you next time.